Welcome robotic students. You are going to need to make a bar graph in Logger Pro and this is a graph showing bars, not about a student that you might know whose name is Bar. And it's a pretty easy task. I'm going to show you how this is done. I recommend you start by dragging this part over here bigger and make your X part bigger and your Y part can be a little bit bigger. Double click on the X. This is going to be where you're going to put your gear ratios. There's no real units for that. And for the first one, you can type in uh, what this first gear ratio which is, is going to be, which I'm going to make mine when I have a, let's say, small gear on motor and medium gear on lifting spool. Now I skipped ahead and I plugged in the other gear ratios in there. You should do the same. For the y-axis, let's say that my first prediction graph is going to be the lifting speed. And then I say that the units are going to be meters per second. And it goes in there. And now since it's a prediction graph, I'm just going to make up some numbers because I'm more worried about the ratio from one gear ratio or one gear ratio to another, which one's faster. So maybe I think that the first one is going to lift at one meter per second. And I think the second one is going to be faster. So I'm going to call it two. And maybe the third one I think is going to be also the same speed. I'm going to call that two as well. The numbers aren't important. I just want you guys to think about which one is going to be faster? Are any of them going to be the same? Now to get your graph going, you can now make this a little bit smaller. It's automatically going to give you uh, a scatter plot, which is usually the best type of thing to do. Uh, but in this case, right click on it, and or double click on it, and on graph options, click bar graph right here. And now, when you hit OK, it should give you this here. Now to make it take up the whole space, you can right click and go auto scale from zero. Boom! Then it gets big and if you need to adjust things just a little bit, you can maybe slide things around. Like let's say I want to slide this over here a little bit and then I can drag it a little bit bigger. And there we go. There's my bar graph. Now you want to give your graph a title. You can double click on it and you might call it something like lifting speed versus gear ratio. And now you want to be able to post this into your ePortfolio as an image. I don't really have a great way to do this. But let me tell you what works. Right click, copy the graph. You can put it in Microsoft PowerPoint. Which this seems archaic, but it does work. Uh, you might need to uh, scale it down a little bit. You get it to a more reasonable size to fit on your page, and then you can uh, save it as a JPEG form. So go through that process of saving as a JPEG. And now that your graph is a JPEG, which is kind of a nice little picture, you can then go to your ePortfolio and say something like, here is my graph, how about it? And then you can go to insert, uh, you're gonna insert an image, you've saved this now somewhere, and you link to it, find it, and hopefully that should go in there. Looks like it is. Should give you a little preview. Looks good. Now, original size might be too giant. You might have to change it to large size. That looks good. At least good enough. And then you hit save. And now when someone goes to look at it, and they're like, oh, that's an interesting graph. I want to get to know it a little bit more closely. And then boom, it comes up big, and your graph is ready to go. So you're going to make two prediction graphs. 
one on lifting speed versus gear ratio, and one on the maximum mass it can lift versus gear ratio. Go to it, my friends.